Hi everybody, it's Sharon again. I want to welcome you to my journey in pouring. Uh, today I'm going to do another Priscilla Betzel inspired painting. I saw her video this morning and I was really thrilled and excited to try this one. Uh, let me just get myself situated under the camera. Uh, she started out with a black base. I'm going to do a white. And I'm going to put a little bit of white in there. We're going to do a balloon roll. Let me get another glove on. I've got to where my hands have got more paint on them than a look I can care for and I have to go to an appointment today and I don't want to go to the doctor with dirty hands let me just tilt this out a little bit I've never done or had much luck with balloon rolls but I'm going to try it. That's how you learn. Keep practicing. Got a lot of air bubbles. Getting those popped will help me. One big one right there, just I forgot to strain my flow trough, and that's what happens when you don't do it. You get lumps. I have my paints mixed with a one to one, sometimes a one and a half to one uh, combination of paint and flow trawl. Depends on how much thickness you want in your paint. This time I did a one to one. Let me spread this out with my spatula here. Well, not a spatula, it's a cake knife. My great Dollar Tree find. Just goes to show you don't have to spend a fortune to paint. You can find a lot of stuff very cheaply. Toothpick again because I got something in my paint again. Get this cleaned off. Hope everybody's having a good Veterans Day. Okay. I don't know if I, I might want to put a little bit more white in that. Because my tray, or little thing has a lip in it. 
my balloon may not be able to pick up all the all the paint colors. I'm using a little bit of everything that I have. really need to clean the nozzles of my bottles. They're getting a little crusty. Before I get too far along, let me do this. May have went a little bit overboard on that green. No, may have, I did. Spread a little bit of teal in there too. Put some in here too. Go ahead and get this mixed up too while I'm at it. Have everything ready to go so I can just get to work. <clears throat> Trying to not make this be a long video, but sometimes it happens. That's what happens when you get so many bottles going. You just forget what you've done and what you hadn't done. You have to look. Okay. Some paper towels. Yeah, I went a little bit overboard with the with the green. Let's see if I can scrape some of that out.
Okay. That's looking a lot better. And my little brush out. As I said, I'm not great at this. This is called a balloon kiss or a balloon roll. I've never really been good at it. So I wanted to practice. So I'm using this smaller canvas something that I can repurpose if I need to and not waste one of my big expensive canvases. As you can see down here at the bottom I'm getting splatter You can watch some people in these videos and make it look so easy, but some of these techniques takes a lot of practice to get used to. And there's some that I've been practicing and I still haven't gotten down. And I try to show you everything I do, but some of them are just so bad I don't. Okay, that's about 
as far as I can go on this. Believe me, it's nowhere near as good as Priscilla's. I just have to keep practicing my balloon rolls. And as I said, I put way too much green down. My nozzle just squirted out way too much. I hope you guys have a great day. If you would, please hit like and subscribe. My name is Sharon Carpenter, and this is my journey in pouring. Please have a great day. Bye.